In this video, we are going to fix a bunch of things that are happening on our main feed here. So if we go to view the comments, it's displaying the correct amount of comments. So we know that the objects are there. But if we click on the comments thread, it doesn't really do anything. It looks kind of like it's still displaying the same view. Not really sure. So we got a whole bunch of stuff we got to do here. Just a bunch of small things. So number one, I guess, is we're going to go and change that the bundle argument. So go into home fragment and or no go home activity and in the method where we go on comment thread selected i want to change this these bundle arguments to actually just be a photo because this is the argument that the view comments fragment recognizes so if we look in the get uh, photo from bundle method here that's the that's the argument it recognizes so i want to use the same just stay consistent there and the second one is we don't actually need the account settings, so we can just get rid of that argument altogether. And we don't need that there. And then that means we can go into our main feed list adapter and get rid of that there. And there was another place, which was up here. Okay, so now back to home activity. And what's actually happening here is we click on it and the view isn't is actually behind the screen. It's not coming into view. So what we want to do is go into, go into, I believe it's this layout here, so activity home. And at the top here, we're actually going to insert a frame layout. And we're just going to do match parent, match parent, and just give this frame layout an ID of container. So that's currently what our view pager is named. So if we look in the layout center view pager, that's what our view pager uh, layout is called but so we're going to rename that we're going to call it view pager container and now so our frame layout is container our layout center view pager is view pager container and now go back into activity home and we're going to give one more thing a new id this relative layout right here which is the second one well actually it goes coordinator layout frame layout and then a relative layout here which kind of encapsulates the whole view and we're going to give this uh an id of i guess parent no, rel layout parent, we'll call it. Rel layout parent. And that's all we're going to do in our layouts. Now we're going to go into home activity and get the widgets for those new objects. So let's see, home activity. So widgets, and so we have private view pager and view pager, private frame layout m frame layout, and private relative layout m relative layout and then down here of course attach them to their IDs everybody our ID dot view pager container and frame layout our ID dot container and relative layout parent whoops it's rel layout parent okay now we're going to scroll down and alter our setup view pager method because now we have a global view pager here, which is we no longer need this line of code altogether. And then we're going to rename this to the global view pager, just like that. And now we are going to create a couple new methods here. Uh, one is for one we'll call hide layout. So we'll go hiding layout. And this one will do m relative layout set visibility view dot gone. And then we want to take our container, which is our frame layout, so frame layout set visibility view dot visible. Because the frame layout is what the comments fragment is going to be inserted into. That's why it wasn't coming into the view. We had no view to inflate, basically. We had no frame layout that was able to inflate. It was trying to inflate through a view pager, which doesn't work. So now let's go to show layout and just basically the exact opposite showing layout. And that's good. Uh, one more thing is we're going to override the on back pressed method on back pressed and inside on back pressed we want to do whoops if the uh, the container or the frame layout dot get visibility equals view dot visible then we want to show the layout 
So if you press the back button, meaning you're navigating away from the comments thread and the frame layout is currently visible, we want to hide it. Basically, we want to show the main layout or go back to, in other words, go back to the main feed. And uh, one more thing is when we first start the activity, we want the view pager to be set to home fragment. Uh, so to do that, we can just go down into our on start method and go into here and just when it starts, we can just do view pager, set current item, and we want to set it to the home fragment. And doesn't like that argument. Integer item. Oh, I need to create a global. So we'll just create a global variable for home fragment at the very top. Private static final integer home fragment equals one because it's the second it's the middle middle tab so we want to set it to one okay so cool now we're done in home activity we can go into our uh, main feed list adapter and remember that little uh, code snippet I mentioned we were gonna have to add here this this is now where we're gonna do that we're going to go to home activity and get the context and we want to hide the layout did I not make those public those methods public uh, private so make these make sure to make these public so you can access them from the adapter and so we want to do hide the layout because if we navigate to the comments thread we want to hide the view pager layout and we want to display that frame layout that the the comments thread is going to be in too so hopefully I didn't forget anything but I'm going to just run it and see what kind of errors we're dealing with alright so looks good first of all let's scroll down and select a comments thread uh, and that looks good let's test a post uh, let's go September 22nd and post it and looks good so far let's go so we hit the back button takes us right back to the main feed perfect now let's test this back navigation so it looks like there's a problem there uh, it's taking us to because it's probably because we're not we're not overriding that on back pressed method there so it's it's not showing the layout so we'll need to do that because now if I press back it'll close yeah so that's a small issue we got to fix and also I believe I forgot to put an on click listener for this yeah so that's not just that's not navigating to the comments so that's another thing I got to do so we'll do that really quick here so uh, view comments fragment uh, we just want to attach an on click listener to the comment widget whatever that one is probably edit text should be a text view oh I'm looking in the wrong place it's the main feed list adapter that I'm after so we need an on click listener for the comment text view which would be not that one that's a speech bubble should be this one right here holder.comments so let's look for that to see if I have done anything with it so there's the sec the t uh, okay here so it looks like I forgot an S here that's why and we scroll down yeah because there's the uncle listener for the comment one so I just forgot that S right there for the uncle listener so that that should fix that issue and our other issue was the back navigation so if we're in here and we hit the back button all it's doing is popping the back stack so alternatively we could do we could do an if statement here I guess so if um, we need to so get photo from bundle I guess if yeah so we don't have any flags so we have two choices I guess we could either check the fragment back stack for home fragment to see if it was the previous fragment or we can attach uh, another object to our listener so like in the main feed list adapter if we attached another object here that would identify where we we're coming from then that would be fine too so I could go like context uh, and context get string with get string r dot string dot uh, calling activity or something or maybe I could just like attach home activity even doesn't really matter and then add that to the other on click listener down here so do that and then go into home activity and change that method so now that this will take another string 
and it'll be we can just say calling activity and we can attach another argument so args dot put parse no put we can just put string put put string and then the string will be named um, the home home activity and just it doesn't we can just pass the same thing it doesn't really matter key both the key and the value could be home activity it's not important it's just the fact that there is something there so now we can go to view comments and we can create another another method so this is get photo from bundle we can just copy this and do get uh, calling calling activity from bundle. It's a long name, but it'll work. Uh, and then, so what we want to look for is calling activity. If the, I remember, if I oh no, it's just home activity. So just look for whoops. Yeah, just home activity. So it's looking for home activity if there is something retrieved this is going to be a get string it's going to be a get string if there's something received then we know we came from home activity so if get calling activity from bundle dot equals get string r dot string dot home activity then we know we came from there and in that case we not only want to pop the back stack but we also need to reference home activity and do a uh, uh, show layout is what we want and otherwise we just want to do what we were doing in the past which is just regular old pop in the back stack so let's let's try that okay so here is the app let's click the bottom so I'm gonna click whoops doesn't really work well when I scroll with the mouse on this so click on there it takes me to the fragment that's great looks good if I hit the back button it takes me back to the home feed perfect if I hit this, it takes me to the same thing. If I hit this back button, works fine. Let's check a different photo. Click this one. Looks like we've got three comments, but it only says two comments here, so that's an issue. Um, I'm wondering if that was an error from what we did previously. I think that might be, because it's, pr it's probably, I think it's reading from two different places or something. Not sure if I'll even bother fixing that. Oops. And then this last one looks good. So everything looks like it's working as we expect. So one last thing, let's click on these. Make sure they take me to his profile. They do. Back navigation's a little messed up there. Uh, what about this? I didn't. I don't think I attached anything to that. So that's fine. Let's see if I can like it. Ah, the heart. The heart is still messed up. So we're going to need to fix that. So I think one of the issues is here in the main feed list adapter. This should be a username or current um, something current. Yeah, current username. That will fix the likes problem because right now I have I definitely have a like on this photo and it's not showing. So let's see what that does. Okay, great. That's good. It's showing that like now. So what if I take off the like it takes it off try and add it again adds it okay so that that might have actually been the source of that problem um, like by Mitch that seems to be working now what if I try and take it away it seems to be good this one good good I am not sure what I'm gonna be doing in the next video if anything it's gonna be fixing small bugs or maybe adding small things I'm not really sure I kinda of wanna finish up with this series um, I'm pretty much done I think at this point with all the stuff that I'm gonna be including next I wanna move on to something with Google Maps uh, I, I really think that's it's important to know with any modern app they almost always use some kind of GPS locating finding locations geolocating all that fun stuff so likely be starting something on that and if I made any mistakes then we'll be right back here with the Instagram clone so regardless I'll see you guys in that next video